Celeste is a 2D platformer that is tough as nails. The controls are simple, as are the rules, but the courses are masterfully constructed to challenge players based on skill alone. Death tolls are expectedly high, but what might not have been expected is the story that goes along with the challenge and how it tackles the subjects of depression, anxiety, and climbing mountains, both literally and metaphorically. From the get-go, the protagonist of Celeste, whose default name is Madeline, doubts her own ability to climb Celeste Mountain, but attempts it anyway. Early on, Madeline falls asleep beside a campfire and has a dream where she calls her boyfriend, but players quickly learn that this boyfriend is an ex, and he makes her feel awful about herself before she wakes up. It's obvious that the relationship was not a healthy one for Madeline, although the breakup still seems to weigh on her. When she wakes up, she calls her mom on a payphone who consoles her and asks her if she's been doing the exercises that she learned to calm herself down. Right away, we're introduced to a character with a lot going on and peer directly into what she feels are her most dire flaws. Throughout the rest of the story, we meet characters like Granny and Theo who help Madeline in their own ways. Granny is bluntly truthful to her and Theo's unfettering positivity and techniques for calming down seem to help. She also meets a part of herself that's released through the magic of the mountain who is an embodiment of everything Madeline hates about herself. This metaphor is a poignant one, as people with anxiety often find the things they don't like about themselves and obsess over them. It can lead to severe depression and panic attacks, especially in the midst of journeys like the one Madeline is on in Celeste. Throughout the climb, Madeline encounters setbacks, hits rock bottom, and deals with toxic people that only make her anxiety worse. The cool part is, she perseveres. By the end of the game, Madeline has found new ways to cope with her anxiety and made peace with the other part of her that she used to hate. Through comical and heartfelt interactions between her and her other half, we watch Madeline reconcile with the cynical, pessimistic side of herself and accepts it, owns it, and in this odd mystical case, befriends it. Madeline's character arc in Celeste is a beautiful example of how someone can overcome their anxiety. It's saying that you don't have to let it consume you or even that you have to ignore it. Celeste follows someone learning to live with their anxiety and to learn how to manage it. It's a success story. It's also a representation of how to be a good friend to someone who has anxiety. Theo knows exactly what to say and how to say it throughout the game. He's able to help Madeline without making her feel like she's someone who needs constant consolation or that she's inferior. He points out the things he likes about Madeline and compares her to his sister, who he says is awesome, just like her. He's an example of what to do when a friend is experiencing an anxiety attack and how to be there for someone who's struggling. The story of Celeste is one of trial, acceptance, and in the end, triumph. It has something important to say and wants to teach players about anxiety from multiple angles. And it's a great game. As a platformer, Celeste is challenging, fun, and keeps things interesting throughout. So whether you're there for the challenge or the story, Celeste gives you both, along with a lesson about perseverance. And that's pretty cool.